Hi, this is Vicki with Breadcrumb Cooking. I'm putting together some bread kind of quickly here today. I've got company coming. We're gonna make a braided cheese bread and a cinnamon raisin loaf of bread to make for toast. And so I thought you might wanna watch that. Maybe that's something you wanna make in your kitchen. I've got two cups of milk down here on the stove. I'm heating it up to a scald. That means I'm not gonna boil it, but I'm gonna get it really hot. I've got five cups of all-purpose flour. I've added to that a cup of warm water. In that warm water, I put two tablespoons of yeast and two tablespoons of sugar. And you can see that it is proofed. I've gone ahead and put it in my flour and I've got a couple of teaspoons of salt over here. Now, that milk is almost ready. When it gets scalding, we're going to add our butter. We're going to add two sticks of butter to that. We're also adding two eggs. Okay. And we're going to stir those eggs up and then stir them into our batter. I'm gonna kind of get my bread started mixing so that I've got those eggs throughout before I put the warm milk in. This is the best bread recipe, guys. This bread is nice and moist from all the uh, butter and it has a good rise because you have the yeast plus the eggs. So it has a good rise to it and it has that bread taste that you wanna taste from homemade bread. All right, got my hands cleaned up. Our, our milk, you can see, and you can hear if you listen. Turn my flame off. It's just coming up to a boil here. And I'm gonna turn my heat off. And I'm gonna put my cold butter in. So the butter will melt, but it will uh, cool the milk mixture down just a little bit. Lots of cooking going on in this kitchen today. It's gonna be nice and warm. That's gonna help the uh, bread to rise. Uh, fairly quickly. Okay, our butter has melted in our milk. And we're going to add that to our flour. It's still warm, but it's not boiling hot. You don't want to add boiling hot into your bread because it will kill your yeast and you won't get a good rise. Alright, we're going to add a little bit of that cup a sixth cup of flour in so that we can get this into a dough that we can knead. Put on our mat and we'll go to work here. All right, we've got more flour than we'll need here, but let's get our dough out. It's already trying to form some air bubbles here, so it's, it's going to be a good bread dough. So get plenty of flour on your hands and spread some across the top. So we've kneaded this up in a pretty good little dough here and now I'm going to cut it in half for my two separate loaves. And I'm going to knead it separately here for a little bit. I'm almost done kneading, or I would wrap up that other half so that it didn't just sit there and dry, but this is almost done. And you can see it no longer sticks to my mat at all. It has good elasticity. It's just a good little loaf of bread there. I'm going to spray it and we will put our loaves of bread in a bowl like that and we're going to cover it and put it off in a warm place and it will take about an hour. So our second bowl is sprayed and there's our other half of our dough going in. We're going to cover it. Let me cover both of them there and let those rise. Okay, our bread dough has doubled. Let's look at it. There 
it is. Rose up very beautifully, didn't it? We're just gonna gently punch that down and put some of the air out of that. And we'll take this loaf over here and put it down on our floured mat. And just like that, bring this out in both directions. And I'm just gonna dot this right down through the middle of this where we're gonna roll it up to. You can put more butter on there if you want to, and it's not really necessary. Because we're not making cinnamon rolls, we're making a bread. All right, we're gonna put our raisins on. Put a little flour on them before you roll them up, but they're gonna get cinnamon on them. We're gonna roll it from the center, roll it towards the center like this. There we go. I'm gonna roll this one under. And I'm gonna roll this one under. It'll about meet, so they meet in the middle. So I've got them like that. I've got a bread pan that I have sprayed. And I'm gonna put this loaf right in the middle of this, just like that. There. And I'm gonna cover that and let it rise. It's gonna rise right up out of that pan. And then we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees. Okay, we've got our other bread dough here. And it, it has doubled and we're gonna mash down the air out of it. And we're gonna move that over to our floured mat here. And we're gonna flour up our rolling pin. And I'm gonna put a little flour, just a little bit across the top, but I'm not, I'm not really wanting to add a lot of flour. I just don't want it to stick. So we're gonna roll it out. Now we're gonna cut this into three sections here. Just about three even sections. All right. I'm gonna set two of these up here at the top and work with one section at a time. There we go. Now, let's kind of flatten this out just a little bit. We've got our first flat section here, and we're gonna add a little bit of butter. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're gonna add a little bit of cheese down the center, and this is grated cheese. I just grated some cheddar. You can also, at this point, add some spices in here. Uh, some garlic powder, some uh, Greek seasonings. I'm not today because I have kids coming and they'll turn their nose up. But that, that's what I would do for Joe and I. I would be adding some seasonings right here. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna pinch it shut with the cheese in it. So I have a rope of bread, and don't worry about the ends. We're gonna tuck them under, so don't worry about that they don't have cheese in the middle of them. And so we've got a rope of bread there, and we're gonna do three ropes of bread. And I'm gonna move that rope of bread over to my bread tray, and it's just a cookie sheet that I have sprayed. I'm just gonna lay that out. It's gonna hang off either end, and that doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got three sloppy loaves of ropes of bread here. And I told you don't worry about the ends, so don't. So we're gonna start down through here and we're gonna braid them. So 
we're going to take them the whole thing over itself and then back over under. If you haven't ever braided hair, have somebody teach you how to braid hair. That's what we're doing here. So we're just braiding this braid like you would braid a braid of hair. Don't worry about it if it looks too loose. Don't try to... You don't have to be perfect, in other words. The rise of the bread will uh, cover up your mistakes, so don't, don't worry about making it perfect. These big old floppy ends, we're going to roll them underneath the bread, underneath that braid, just like that. And see, we didn't lose much cheese either. If you try to get real perfect about it, you're going to end up unrolling your bread completely. And it'll go, it'll meet itself underneath so that you'll have a piece of bread under there. There we go. So it's all braided up. Now we're just going to cover that. It's going to rise out and up. And then we're going to bake it at 350 degrees. I'll come back and show you that. Okay. Our cinnamon raisin bread is ready to go into the oven. We got a good rise on it. We'll put this in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay, our first bread is out of the oven. Now this raisin bread took 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Let me see if I can hold it up where you can see a good view of it. Beautiful loaf of bread. And we're gonna come over to our braided loaf here and we're gonna do an egg wash. It's doubled. And I've got about a tablespoon and a half of water in the bottom of this measuring cup. And I'm going to add a whole egg to that. And I'm going to stir that up. I'm going to brush the egg across. And that gives that bread that shiny finish. That's what we hope we're going to find anyway on this bread um, as it bakes. All right, into the oven at 350 degrees. I'm gonna let that cool completely, and then I'm gonna slice this bread with an electric knife. Because the electric knife, um, you know, is, is very sharp and very fast, and so you don't have a messed up bread that way. It makes a pretty slice of bread. I'll show you some slices of bread here in a little bit. Jill's fixed to try this bread, so. Mm, mm, mm. It's pretty hot, isn't it? <laughs> Burn your mouth? No, it's, it's perfect. Good. There you go, guys. That was fun to make. We'll do that again. You like it? I love it. All right. It's on the menu. All right, we've got cheese bread. All right, let's look this bread over here. The cheese bubbled out, which was fine, because didn't it look pretty with the cheese bubbled down through the center? Um, there's still some in the bread, I'm pretty sure. So we'll cut into that and see if there's not still cheese down inside of that. All right, let's look at this bread. All right, here comes the first piece and it's hot. We're gonna take it out of there anyway. Okay, we've got cheese on top, and we've got cheese down through the bread also. So, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm pleased. I hope that you enjoy making this bread and uh, that your family enjoys it.
Thank you.